Hi YouTube, I'm working on a Honda HS720 and um, in order to do a proper carb clean on this uh, you would really have to take off all the upper covers, all the side covers and in order to get to the carburetor but um, this machine was running and I figured you know there's fresh gas in it, I put some sea foam in there as well um, it still was surging crazy but I, I'm not 100% sure that the carburetor is gummed up so before I proceed with taking more covers off I figured I tried to clean the passage that's underneath that gold colored uh, screw right there so there's a very small passage um, I am going to assume that it has something to do with air to fuel ratio um, so I ended up taking that that out um, and there is a very small passage in there that you can clean out. You don't have to go through taking all these covers off. And uh, the only thing I would watch out for is I would have a magnet nearby so you don't drop that screw down into the snowblower. But, um, and uh, let me show you how I clean this. A buddy this. of mine is a dentist and for root canal type work, as you can see, it says endodontics right there on this blue one. Um, they have these files that they use, that's stainless steel. So I have, you know, uh, received a few different sizes from him. These uh, purple ones, and also I have other colors, different sizes, so forth and so on, are great for cleaning out small passages, such as the one on the Honda HS720. Here we are back at the uh, snow thrower again. Um, so before you proceed with taking everything apart, if your snowblower is running and is surging badly, I would first try to tackle and clean out the jet underneath that screw. Um, pretty easy to do, it took me a couple minutes and the snowblower is running like brand new. I, it's not surging anymore and it's fully operational. So um, just a little tip for uh, for a small engine equipment community use a magnet to make sure that the screw does not fall in there and once you open it up there is the inside of that hole you see that brass jet and I will show how I cleaned it I'll be using this purple file, dental file with my long needle nose pliers and basically you want to kind of drop it right into the center. Let's see if I can zoom in here. I also noticed after zooming in how dirty it is the surrounding areas. So basically kind of go in the center Push that through a few times to get that uh, brass jet cleaned out. And I guess one thing that can be done is prior to taking that screw out, um, you can use carburetor clean and some compressed air to clean the surrounding area so no debris gets in there. I did not see all this debris before I took the screw out first time. All right. 